हेलो गाइस इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मैक्सिमम लाइकलीहुड मेथड एमएल मेथड ऑफ द बेशियन पैरामीटर एस्टीमेशन सो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द बेशियन पैरामीटर एस्टीमेशन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो वील जस्ट सी व्हाट इज मैक्सिमम लाइकलीहुड मेथड सो मैक्सिमम लाइकलीहुड मेथड एज द नेम सजेस्ट सेज दैट यू कंसिडर दैट वैल्यू ऑफ पैरामीटर which is giving you the maximum possible probability so here you can see that this particular parameter which is giving you the maximum probability for the data so let me read this again so this is what this is probability of the data given some mean so this thing whenever it is maximum for any theta that theta will be known as theta ml so the maximum likelihood parameter of the particular distribution so we saw in the previous lecture that we are varying the mean and we are trying to fit a gaussian which is uh, almost covering mostly all the samples so that gaussian which will give the prob uh, multiplication of all the probabilities the highest will is going to be our theta ml that is our maximum likelihood method so now let us see what will happen if i consider the distribution to be a gaussian distribution and uh, when i put maximum likelihood method what will be the formula for calculating the mean and what will be the formula for calculating the variance so for the univariate gaussian density i have only two parameters that is mu that is the mean and variance sigma square so now uh, let me recap a little bit we just have the data with us we don't have anything else so from the data we are going to estimate the likelihood and to estimate the pdf of so estimating likelihood means estimating the pdf of likelihood and to estimate this pdf we just need the parameters because if we have the parameters we can put them into the formula and we can get the uh, pdf so i am using the same notation that i used earlier so di is nothing but the data set of data so say for sunflower d1 is the set of data for rose d2 is the set of data and it is consisting of different features so the first the the feature for the first uh, image will be say x1 the feature for second image is some uh, x1 is equal to 6 for the first image x1 is equal to 7 for the second image and the story so since this is univariate gaussian density hence i will have only one one feature only the size say in this case next here we saw in a general case there were theta k but for a gaussian density we will just have two thetas theta 1 and theta 2 so one will denote the mean and other will denote the variance right so these are the parameters of ith class so now since there are two class so i will have two gaussians a gaussian which will correspond to this and a gaussian which will correspond to this so for sunflower i will have one mu1 which is the mean of the sunflower and i will have some sigma1 square that will be the variance of this similarly i'll have mu2 and some sigma2 square that will be the mean and variance of this right so let us uh, see so this is the formula so probability of x i n now what is n n is basically uh, a pointer to this uh, these uh, particular so this i1 i2 i3 i4 up till n i so this this is denoted by n over here so i want Uh, so n is just pointing it is like an uh, for i is equal to 1 2 uh, n like that so that is that n so so this is the probability so this is this we are doing this so the probability that of this sample so the probability of i1 sample say about this is say this so that is what we are calculating the probability of every sample right now we saw in the previous case that if suppose if even if there is one 
one sample which is far away then it it gives a probability which is tending to zero which makes the whole product zero so hence what we do is we take the log so we take the log of the uh, likelihood so this we we took the log of the probability and uh, this product changes to summation and we get a log over here so please uh, note that here n is going from 1 to ni why because there are ni uh, samples in a particular data set and from 1 to ni it will go so we are just putting the formula over here so this is this is my gaussian distribution i am just taking the log of it so you can see that log of this thing will uh, give minus half x i n minus theta 1 the whole square by theta 2 so that is what i have got over here and the log of this will be minus half log of this particular thing so that i have written over here now we have to maximize this this is this is what ml method says ml method says that that point which will maximize the probability is the point where uh, i will get theta ml so this is the ml rule basically so this is the function li and these are the various thetas so i just want that theta maximum which will give me a maximum uh, probability log probability so here this theta is unknown so here mu and co uh, variance are unknown so these are unknown as you can see there is this this axis unknown axis and there is this probability corresponding to so for this what we do is we find the first derivative and equate it to zero that is our uh, main minima maxima method so here we'll have to derivate the log probability with respect to both the mean and variance so because this is a vector theta is a vector consisting of mean and variance so hence we'll have to differentiate it with both once the mean and once the variance and equate it to zero so let us first see what will happen with the mean so if i am differentiating the uh, log function this function with respect to the mean what i get so this is my function if you see if i differentiate this with the mean this does not have any uh, sig uh, theta 1 so theta 1 is my mean right so i don't have any theta 1 over here so this is directly going to be 0 so hence there is no term like that and for this it will be minus 1 half x in minus theta 1 the whole square will go the 2 will come outside and there will be a minus sign because there is this upon theta 2 so this is a simple der derivative that i have taken over here next i am just applying little algebra this 2 2 will cut uh, let me take this minus 1 upon theta 2 outside because it is not belonging to the summation and then you can see i can multiply this and make this 0 so this will go because there is a 0 over here i have this thing next i am uh, because uh, summations are linear so i can uh, separate them like this and then take this over here now this is theta 1 so theta 1 does not depend on uh, n basically so because it does not depend on n so the whole sum so this will be say theta 1 plus theta 1 plus theta 1 like this ni times so theta 1 plus theta 1 plus theta 1 ni times will give you ni so it is simply like theta 1 plus theta 1 plus theta 1 3 times will give you 3 theta 1 so ni times will give you ni theta 1 so that is what we have written for this and this is this so then theta 1 will be nothing but 1 upon ni into summation n is equal to 1 to ni x i n so this is the formula that we got for theta 1 so here you can see what are x i n's x i n's are our data samples so all these are our x i n's and what it is saying it is saying to add all the x i n's from 1 to ni and divide it by ni so we are going to add 3 plus 4 plus 4.2 plus 4, all all these and divided by ni so this is just like taking the average right we are just taking the average of all the samples so this maximum likelihood method tells you 
that the best way so this is the best way because i am finding the maximum probability so the best way to find out the mean for gaussian distribution is just by taking the average of all the samples so this is what we came to know from the maximum likelihood uh, uh, method that whenever you have been given with some data and you want to uh, approximate it as gaussian and you want to find the mean of uh, what the distributions mean will be you just take the average of all the feature vectors and that will be the mean so that is one insight that we got from this now let us calculate the same for variance so for variance what is going to happen is you are going to differentiate the log uh, you are going to differentiate this log probability with respect to me, uh, variance now so there was theta 1 earlier now there will be theta 2 so if you see for the variance case uh, I had this this as my actual formula so this is my actual formula of the log likelihood so here you can see there is a theta 2 sitting over here and there is a theta 2 sitting over here so first what I have done is I have separated the two theta 2's so this I can write log this plus log this so this is what I have written over here uh, since both are minus hence both are minus over here yeah so next I am just uh, taking step by step derivative so the derivative of this with respect to theta 2 will be 0 there is no uh, theta 2 in this so the derivative of this with respect to theta 2 is going to be minus 1 by 2 theta 2 so derivative of log x is 1 by x so that is what I have written over here so now the derivative of this thing is going to be minus 1 half the whole thing just there is a 1 by theta 2 sitting over here so derivative of 1 by theta 2 is nothing but minus 1 by theta 2 the whole square so this is what is going to happen so this minus and this minus will cancel and will give you this next we are going to equate this to 0 because we have to maximize so uh, taking some things out so now uh, I, I am taking this minus 1 by 2 theta 2 common because it is there both in both the spaces 1, my, 1 by 2 theta 2, 2 theta 2 so I am taking this common so you see there is nothing left over here so there will be 1 over here minus because I have taken minus common so there will be a minus over here the square will also go because I have taken it common and this so now this thing also can be multiplied to 0 so we know that theta 2 is not equal to 0 so then this you can do it next I have uh, from year to year I have come so sim cheese, uh, summation from n is equal to 1 to ni 1 is going to give you ni so this is just like adding 1's ni times so adding 1's ni times will give you ni adding 1 3 times will give you 3 so adding 1 ni times will give you ni so hence this summation becomes ni over here so and I have taken this as it is over here so I have a theta 2 sitting over here so what I have done is uh, this goes over here and I am multiplying theta 2 with it and then if you see I have to calculate theta 2 so theta 2 is equal to 1 upon ni summation n is equal to 1 to ni xn minus so here you can see that this is nothing but calculating the sample variance so whenever you are given with some sample data say 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 some, something like this if you want to calculate the variance of this data so what you do is you first calculate the mean so you take the average and calculate the mean and then you see the difference of the mean and that particular point and square it and add it take the average of that that will give you the average variance that is exactly what ML method is telling us to do only when uh, you are uh, you are assuming that the distribution is Gaussian so this is uh, what ML method is saying that the best way to calculate variance is just by using the sample variance method so that was all for this video thank you so much for watching thank you